there. All right, so I'm um, John, as some of you may, may remember, but now I'm actually <laughs> Astrid because, uh, <laughs> uh, because she's sick. So just call me Astrid for this session. Uh, yeah, uh, and this is... I'm Kimberly. I'm, work, I'm with Wikimedia Finland, and he's with Wikimedia Norway. So, But I'm one of the bureaucrats on the Northern Sami Wikipedia. Yes. All right. Uh, sorry for the Sami, I forgot about. Oh yeah, this is in Sami because uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Wikimedia Norway has uh, three official names. So two in the two varieties in Norwegian and then uh, Sami. So for this session, we're called Wikimedia Norga and not Norge. As we normally are. All right, so um, first of all, uh, we became a civil society partner with UNESCO once we learned about the uh, uh, that the International uh, uh, International Year of Indigenous, Indigenous Languages uh, was going to be a thing, uh, because we thought this was a great opportunity to, you know, uh, well, uh, sort of uh, uh, not. I was going to say promote our work, but uh, sort of uh, uh, synergize or whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, and uh, the Wikimedia 2030 uh, strategy thing that Anas was talking about uh, came to the uh, conclusion that, uh, well, not the conclusion, but uh, the strategic direction is that we should have knowledge equity, which means that we should focus more on, you know, uh, bringing knowledge to people who uh, aren't as well represented in the WIC projects. Uh, uh, and uh, that is one of the main reasons why we're working with, uh, with uh, some issues in Wikimedia Norway. Uh, we should probably yeah. ask first, actually, if, do people know where the Sami languages are spoken? This oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the Sami languages are spoken in Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Russia. And mm -hmm. we're trying to get work uh, cooperate with um, Wikimedia Sweden and Wikimedia Russia. I don't, we don't have any contact with so, but yeah, because Russia so is these very are big and they have very many minority languages, yeah. so it's kind of hard to make them focus on just some. Yeah, but we're we, so the, already yeah. doing it. Yeah, so, so cross border cooperation is really important. Yeah, and what we're doing. Hmm. Uh, and so for because we are a uh, civil society partner, uh, we are uh, organizing several events during the year. Uh, regarding, you know, uh, Sami, Sami languages. So the first one was the Uralic language contest, which we had on Meta. It didn't have like a very high turnout, but there were some uh, some contributions. Uh, and that was for all Uralic, Uralic languages. So not just the Sami ones, but also the ones spoken in Russia and Finland, Estonia. Uh, we tried to get the Hungarians, but they didn't respond. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, and we also have had a workshop with several institutional partners. I'll uh, come back to that uh, in a later slide. Then in June, we had in Helsinki, we had a Wikidata workshop with uh, mm -hmm. Ule Sapni. I was supposed to be there. They're the news channel that broadcasts in the Sami, three Sami languages that are spoken in Finland. And Ule was there, or Wiley, I think they're called in English, but they, they were there and talked about using Wikidata for tagging uh, newspaper articles and broadcasts and things like that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this July, we're going to two festivals. Uh, we've been there, we were there last year as well. Uh, so one is uh, Redo Redo, which is a, 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 a culture slash music festival in, uh, up in Northern Norway. Uh, and the other one is Markameno, which is uh, uh, more just a culture festival. There are some artists performing as well, but it's, uh, you know, a lot of Sami people come to these, uh, these uh, festivals and it's a good place to reach out to the mm -hmm. to those people. And Ridu Ridu is actually more international. That, for mm -hmm. instance, um, Buffy St. Marie is going to be headlining this year. And Tanya Takak, people like that. So there's also people from the Inuit communities and the other indigenous communities coming to Rido mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and in September, I'm not sure if it's September or October, but I think we ended up in September. We're gonna have something called a radio cinema, 
which is basically that you sit around in a room and you listen to, uh, in this case, uh, an episode of a podcast uh, by a Sami woman who was talking about uh, uh, how her grandparents were treated during the uh, Norwegianization phase uh, of our history, which is kind of a dark part of uh, Norwegian history when they were trying to just assimilate the Sami people and just make them stop using some languages. And, you know, they were doing stuff like measuring people's skulls and stuff. So it's, yeah. yeah. Uh, and they have a very good episode on that. So they will uh, uh, we'll play that episode. And afterwards, uh, she will talk about that and uh, her experiences. And we'll also have, uh, yeah, some other wiki related stuff in this. And then we've been talking about Wikimedia Finland going to Inari in the north of Finland and working with the Sami archives in October. They're really interested in doing a workshop with us about Wikidata and Commons. Next slide. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, partnerships. Uh, for Norway, we have a lot of uh, established uh, partnerships already. Uh, and so we're trying to sort of build on the ones we already have uh, a relationship with. And that includes the National Library and the National Archives. Uh, and we also have, uh, because of this project, we are now establishing relationships with uh, uh, the uh, what's it called? Norwegian Museum of Cultural History, I think. Uh, and we've also uh, got in touch with the Sami University and the University of uh, Tromsø. Uh, and uh, there are also something called Sami language centers, which are uh, institutions funded by the Sami parliament. <laughs> There's a lot of Sami here now, uh, which are, you know, they work on, with uh, promoting the Sami languages in their local areas. So when we can cooperate with them, that means that we reach, uh, you know, more people from around the country. Um, yeah, and then there's also the festivals, and uh, we're starting to work with the Sami parliament itself. They're kind of hard to uh, to get on the hook, <laughs> so to say, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you want to say something there? Sure. Well, or? <laughs> I've talked about some of them. I mean, so we have talked about the broadcasting company in Finland and then the Sami archives, but we've also been working with the universities and trying to interest the teachers in getting involved in letting their students write Wikipedia articles or tag commons material, Wikidata, things like that. And the University of Helsinki is slowly getting on board and is happy to start working out with us, working with us, that type of stuff. The Sami parliament in Finland, we don't really have any contact with, but one um, really important partnership that we would like to get on board for both Wikimedia Finland and Norway and in Sweden is the Kielagaltu, which is the people that come up with the new terms. So they have term lists, and we would love to be able to import these into Wikidata and then have them be able to export stuff out of Wikidata and use that. Because we have a lot of terms. I work with, I'm a translator, so I have tons and tons of terminology that I've got in Excel sheets and things like that that I've slowly been feeding into Wikidata. And so then they wouldn't have to recreate everything constantly. They would have, somebody has a term for this. Hmm. And, and this uh, Gelegaldo, they're actually using uh, a MetaWiki installation to track their work, mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of fascinating to me because it's uh, the only uh, the only MetaWiki installation which is in Northern Sami, but also uses the trans translate extension to uh, translate into other Sami languages again. So it's uh, I find that pretty fascinating. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, there. So, Yours. I mean, I talk about the Sami languages, there's 10 of them or so, Then, but we actually only have Northern Sami in use broad in, broad, in the broad sense. We have a Wikipedia in Northern Sami, and then we have six or seven in the incubator, and most of those are dead. They're, they're not really very active, unfortunately. Mm. But we keep coming across the next slide. We keep coming across strange places that we can't use these languages. And so, for instance, Akkala, the that one and then this one are pretty much dead. They're, the Tehra, there's still people that speak it, but Akkala, there's nobody that speaks it. Kimi, nobody speaks it. And 
but we have materials, we have linguistic data for these things and we can't use them. And Wikidata comments, they're, they're not usable. And so we have to keep creating tickets and fabricator saying, hey, we'd like to be able to use this here. And then we come across some other weird, t weird reason why you can't use it there. Like the interface not being translated is one of them. But if you have a dead language, who's coming up with the terminology? Nobody's going to be coming up with the terminology to create the interface. And even for the smaller ones, like Inari and Skol, there's only 250 people that speak these languages. They have better things to do than translate an interface that they'll never use in their own language. And so that's part of, those are part of the challenges we have with things. Um, Kimmy, we can't come up with a name for the language in its own language, which, which is a requirement to be able to use it in the Wikimedia projects. So it just sits there. We have data for it, but we can't use it. <coughs> and Akala and Ter don't actually have their own orthographies. People just write them kind of, it's similar to what Anas was saying with the Berber languages. People just write them in some version. And because we can't say in particular how they're written, then we can't use them, which is unfortunate. Because for both of those languages, we have actual like thousand page dictionaries that could be used. Yep. Yeah. Do you want to say something about this one as well? Oh yeah, my favorite topic. <laughs> People who don't know the language, but found a dictionary in a secondhand used bookstore and then go about creating Wikipedia projects, not realizing that these languages are morpholo morphologically rich and decline and conjugate. So the term that's in a dictionary is not the term you're gonna ever find anywhere else. And so the Southern Sami incubator for a long time, and I don't know if it still is, is a Norwegian guy who translated it. He was Swedish, actually. Swedish, yeah. sorry. <laughs> but translated it into it Southern Sami. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. it was actually, I mean, his intentions were good. His intentions but he was were like, good. Uh, yeah. 12 or 13 or something when he started this. And uh, he like wrote a lot of things in Southern Sami, which is not correct at all. No. So, uh, <laughs> no. you know, other people who come, come in later and actually know Southern Sami, they're kind of discouraged by seeing all these uh, errors, you know. Or having to fix them. So, all. yeah. Uh, so, I mean, like I said, their intentions are good, but, they, but the actual result is kind of uh, negative. And we do have the interface translated into Southern Sami for some unknown reason. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how well it's been translated. It was that same guy, so it's the same probably guy. not well. Yeah. <laughs> but so yeah. we can use Southern Sami anywhere we want in Wikimedia projects because the interface has been translated, but the quality is not very good. Okay. Well, we've talked about quite that a few of the challenges. challenges. <laughs> what next? Um, so I told you about some of our plans from Norway for the uh, international year. Um, yeah. So I don't know how much I'm... Were you, we're going to have a edit-a-thon or something in October. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to try and make that a joint edit-a-thon. And it can be done across all of Finno-Scandinavia. And actually outside of Finno-Scandinavia. A lot of Sami live outside of the Finno-Scandinavia area. Um, oh, and also we'll be having a Sami keynote speaker at Wikimania mm -hmm. for those who are going there. So <laughs> that'll be cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's pretty much it. I think, I think. so. Yeah. Yep. And have fun looking at the old fabricator tickets we've created. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> we also have the Romani languages included on the on the ticket. And part of the problem is is that the Romani languages, the ISO codes for the Romani languages, do not match up in by any means to the actual divisions of the languages. So. <laughs> Glottolog is much better. IETF is pretty good. And we need to figure out, in my opinion, a way of mapping these to each other by all means. It's, yeah, thank you. Because <laughs> the ISO codes, we just want to cry every time we look at them. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Any questions, by the way?
And then if anybody wants to talk to us more about these things, we'll be at Wikimania too. And so. Um, has anybody got any questions? Like one question now for Kimberly and John? No, you'll you'll be there this evening That's and Astrid. tomorrow. And Astrid, sorry, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be there this evening and tomorrow, yeah. won't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah so we'll yeah, yeah. be able to carry on those discussions. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Okay. Um, quick check of the time. Right. Um, so, are there any general questions? after today, anybody's got what they want to ask, but we've obviously got all of tomorrow. So tomorrow we've got more of a focus on educational use of uh, Wikimedia and some more stuff on uh, technical, some technical talks. And then in the afternoon, we've got Vicky again running the, the workshop. So hopefully we'll get a lot of you to join in and help build that, that, that project up as well. Um, thank you to all the speakers today, it's been really excellent and I'm very aware of lots of lively discussions going on and we do have a question. I was just, I, would it be relevant to mention to people about the uh, rival conference? <laughs> yes. And, yeah. <laughs> uh, hmm? Biology. Oh, my, well, not, not the biology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, you, you may be aware there's quite a lot happening on the campus at the moment. <laughs> Uh, but even more complicated tomorrow is that um, uh, there's a there's another conference going on. It's actually on Cornish national minority status and actually national minorities generally in the British Isles. So some of the Cornish delegates will be distracted and taken away over there, unfortunately, tomorrow. The timing is really unfortunate from my point of view, but um, that was down to actually a lot of the councillors. That was the only date they could make, so they had to go ahead with that date, uh, despite my pleas. But um, so yes, there will be uh, a few fewer of us there. But I'm being. <laughs> What's that, Will? <laughs> we're bringing our government bus. We're bringing the Cornish Embassy bus. The upstairs has a passport office. And downstairs there's a pub. <laughs> and you're all very welcome to come and take the Cornish citizenship test, which I have to tell you, no one has ever yet failed. <laughs> <laughs> because we are an all inclusive, all embracing uh, national. So uh, there's a challenge of kind to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so, uh, our bus will be parked up then by Amata, the yeah. performance centre, and in your lengthy coffee breaks and lunch breaks, you might want to come over and play on our bus. So certainly during the lunch break, there'll be time for you to go down and probably uh, uh, sneak out if you want to. But um, it is worth going to have a look at because I think it's one of the things where uh, we're such a small language community and um, one, one of the useful things with the tick box bus is actually going out to the community and having discussion so it's not seen as a sort of a small uh, niche community it's actually sort of part of the mix of being in Cornwall so so you actually might find there's interesting things there to learn about how you know how you have those discussions with the wider community I think it's been done it's been really successful very popular uh, thing that's you know been asked to go to other events hasn't it so yeah so yes, do go along to that tomorrow, but do come back, unlike Will. Um, so yes, um, any other plugs for tomorrow? <laughs> um, but otherwise, if we can head down to the working boat. So